left-wing protesters outside Donald Trump's rally in Albuquerque, New Mexico, turned violent. They caused mayhem. They tried to set things on fire. They threw rocks and bottles at police, injuring several officers. Today, Trump responded to these left-wing agitators, tweeting, quote, the protesters in New Mexico were thugs who were flying the Mexican flag. The rally inside was big and beautiful, but outside, criminals. And earlier today, after Trump held a rally in Anaheim, California, protesters clashed with police on the streets. How should law enforcement handle these types of demonstrations? Joining us now is Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark and former NYPD detective and Fox News contributor Bo Deal. Sheriff Clark, you were watching those, no doubt, those protesters. You know, we saw that in California a couple of weeks ago as well. What did Milwaukee, uh, what, I'm sorry, what did New, Albuquerque, New Mexico do wrong? Well, it's not a matter of what they did wrong, but look, these are riot starters, okay, these people. They are criminal anarchists. And the only thing they understand is force. I'm bothered that the officers in these situations are taking on casualties but very few casualties on the other side. These officers are under assault. Once the first officer is injured, once the rocks and bottles start flying, these officers need to be allowed to take the gloves off and to take an offensive uh, posture and become the aggressor in delivering force to, first of all, protect life and property and also defend themselves. And those two things are not mutually exclusive. They can both happen at the same time. But this bend but don't break uh, strategy didn't work during the 60s. They got officers killed, officers injured, citizens killed as well. Um, you have to get these things under control very quickly, or it starts to spread. I don't know why these this police equipment, this squad cars. I'm tired of seeing squad cars out front being jumped and damaged uh, by these riot starters. Look, all that equipment should be on the inner perimeter. I have given instructions when we have handled these things, and I have. I said I do not want to see one of our squad cars on the national news being damaged and jumped on and windows smashed and overtaken by these riot starters. Right, right. That doesn't give the, the public a lot of confidence that we can get this thing under control. And that's what's important for people viewing it. So the optics here do matter. But I'm tired of, like I said, Eric, right. of, of uh, officers being injured and then being told to uh, hold the line or... Um, you know, bend but don't break. Yeah. No. Sheriff Clark, we hang, hang in there one second. I want to, I want to, bring, well. I want to bring, bring Bo in here. Bo, last night we were live on the air, um, and this was going on, and we kept watching these pictures, and we kept saying, when are these cops going to, why don't they throw some tear gas in there? Where are the, where are the, air, the, the water cannons? Where are the, uh, the, the bean bags? Well, I think now we've seen these demonstrations can bring these creeps there. So you've got to prepare for it. You have to have the manpower. You've got to cancel all the days off. You've got to have as much manpower as you can because at any time these demonstrations can become what we've seen. Also, you've got to get some undercovers in there to point out the troublemakers and start making arrests. Start locking people up. Were they up. surprised? Were they caught by surprise? I, I think the way this this looks here, they didn't expect that, but we have to expect it now. And it's not going to get any better heading into Cleveland. And when it goes into Cleveland, you know it's all going to come there. And what we got to do is we got to be prepared for it. And again, these guys are jumping on the police cars like that, destroying property. They should be videotaping. They should go out. They should lock these punks up like they should have done in Ferguson and Baltimore. Yeah. They're destroying property. They're hurting cops out there. You know what we got to do? Have a precedence and lock these punks up. Sheriff Clark, don't no one is more pro law enforcement than I am. I, I, every opportunity I get, I highlight the, the job that you two do, uh, the heroic work that you do. My question is why, why wasn't there a police chief telling these guys to make some arrests? They were pushing the crowd back slowly. No one got arrested. Because they're skittish and they're afraid. And I would say that if you're not going to allow officers to become the aggressor once the rioting starts, then don't put them in this situation. I don't think the sheriff? officers were who unprepared. Who is that? You say if, they're, question, if they're not going to allow, who is that? The who? plan. I would question the plan. I wouldn't question the officers being caught off guard. These officers are being told to stay in these situations. You can't keep them in harm's way without allowing them to become the aggressor at some point. Bo, you know, you know what, 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 let me ask you this, though. It, it looked like they needed some more manpower, right? Yeah. It could be wrong. It looked like well, it. Look at, where, where, where was the governor? Why well, didn't the governor send some more manpower? Look at what happened in Baltimore when the cops were told to stand down. They were throwing rocks at them, and the cops were told to stand down when they were being pelted by right. rocks. But, but that was a different story. Baltimore was a race that was, race was at the center well, of Baltimore. Still a riot. And there was agitation going. It's, this is a, this is a, a, a complaint about a, a, a Donald Trump? No, but the point is, this is a riot. 
situation. You've got cops that were injured there. You got property destroyed. This is a riot situation. What's going through those cops' minds when when those punks are throwing crap at them, throwing throwing bottles at them and rocks at them? And what, what's going through their mind? All I know is that whoever's in charge at that point, they have to take charge of that crowd, and you got to get that crowd dispersed. You got to take collars out of it. You got to lock people up, and you've got to react to it. Sheriff, I Here's got about 20 seconds. Just, we, we, we have Cleveland. We have Philadelphia coming up. We have another uh, June 7th in California. Your recommendation, very quickly, to the law enforcement. Eric, here's what's going through their minds. Why are we being put into this situation not being able to defend, them, de defend ourselves? It's not a matter of uh, that they didn't have the right amount of manpower. That's kind of built into this failed strategy. They don't want to show force. You have to show up in force with a message to these punks. We are ready to deliver force as soon as you get out of line. And that's not the instructions they're getting, yeah. and that's not the, the liberty that they're getting yeah. in these situations. Unfortunately, and like I said, that's I, not I, the I instruction they're getting. I agree with you, Sheriff Clark, and both thank you guys yeah. very much.